Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. It's a small channel and it won't cost you anything. My goal is to get 1000 subscribers by the mid of this year. Thanks. I hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be learning how to model <coughs> arches. Uh, I just turned on my screen cast keys. Um, model arches into uh, cylinders. So first we delete the default cube, then shift A, <coughs> circle, and um, seven to top view and just for the sake of tutorials i'm going with only 16 vertices because you just need to understand the concept behind it rather than um, if i just go with 32 vertices uh, that will just uh, lengthen the process and it's pretty pointless you just need to understand the basic concepts behind the uh, uh, this trick so 16 vertices for the circle then uh, tap to go to edit mode delete the bottom vertices and the side vertices since we'll be working with the mirror modifier then click uh, out of the uh, um, edit mode click on r x 90 and um we'll also add in a cylinder and again i'll just uh, load the vertices to 16. now three to click on the side view and we'll select our circle i'll just rename the circle to arch just for better understanding and then click g y to move it a little bit of outside uh, this uh, slender. Now <coughs> I'll also scale it to about here. It actually needs to be smaller than the um, actual slender. Now tap into edit mode uh, while having your arch selected. Then select this bottom, uh, bottom uh, edge and then E Z to scale it or uh, extrude it outside uh, this length and then click on E and scale it like so. And then click G and X to move it about here. Um, I'll just go in ahead and add in the mirror modifier and turn on clipping. And this way, uh, GX, when I move it, it automatically clip and connects these two. So I'll just move it over here and then um, these bottom vertices, G and Z to move it about here. You can actually go ahead uh, um, <coughs> and zero to also uh, make them same uh, length. Same with this one, FZ zero and um maybe we'll just move these a little bit on the side okay so um for the slender i'll also just um, delete the top and bottom half we don't need those faces and red wireframe and i'll also delete the side vertices since we're going to using mirror modifier for it as well and modifier mirror so now select your arch. I think our arch looks slightly thicker uh, on this bottom edge. So SX to make it slightly thinner. And um, add, uh, add the modifier while having your uh, arch selected and the shrink wrap modifier. And in the uh, target object, on servers keep the basic settings and then on target object, select your um, slender. So now we actually have it uh, like so. And um, I can apply the shrink wrap modifier and um, then select both of the objects it doesn't matter because uh, which object you select first because both of them has the meter modifier so uh, control j to uh, turn them into same object and then tab into edit mode now select this and this vertices or any other vertices that's uh, that basically um, is a problem sort of like uh, we don't need it so delete that vertices we actually need these or this vertices so keep it but you, uh, you can go ahead and delete these vertices as well so the trick over here is that this um, vertices needs to have an edge going around over here, this one over here, and this one over here. So we'll click on controller and add three loop cards, and then GG to move them above, and then S and Z to uh, make them closer, like uh, the vertices, and then GG again to uh, move them a little bit downward. You can also go ahead and select Shift Alt to move the individual vertices, uh, select the individual vertices, and then GG to move them down and then shift alt with the same and then gd to move them in the same place so go into vertex select mode and then <coughs> you can shift select and then click on f to fill these vertices and then also same with over here you can keep on going doing like this and start filling up uh, to create faces and as you can see um, we can also uh, we should also add in another loop cut over here because as you can see from the top view it doesn't look good um, so I'll just control R to 
add your vertices over here and then I'm to top you into G and move it sort of in the front and also I think this vertex is also problem G where to move it in the front okay and now if I go ahead and shade smooth this you can see the results are pretty damn good but just in case if you're not getting um, good shading you can go ahead and mesh normals there are also a shortcut for this you can click on uh, uh, control shift n and control uh, shift n to actually recalculate normals inside and outside so i'll just go ahead and mesh normals recalculate inside and outside just to make sure that everything is all right so uh, this is how you can actually model an arch in a circular slender in blender if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel and watch for another one of my videos as that's how the youtube algorithm works it's a small channel and it won't cost you anything thanks and i'll see you in the next video